Hello, Butch Park Baptist Church. My name is Keith Mitchell, and I'm one of the pastoral interns here at the church. Today, I will be bringing you a short devotional based on the idea of contentment and satisfaction. We find ourselves in the midst of a circumstance that we may not want to be a part of. However, we are a part of it. Where do we go to find strength and comfort? Where do we go to be safe and secure? Today, I want to encourage you on how we can answer those two questions. When you have three kids in the house like I do, there are multiple times in the day where you can learn or be reminded of truths found in the Bible, our sacred text. This particular reminder came while reading a story with my son before bed. The story comes from his book titled, You Read to Me, I'll Read to You. Very short fables to read together. The particular fable is entitled, The Goose Who Laid the Golden Eggs. I want to read that to you tonight and share words from Philippians chapter 4 that helps us with the idea of contentment and satisfaction and where do we go to find strength and comfort. And I want to end our time here today with a prayer based on Psalm 46, where we can answer the question, where do we go to be safe and secure? Here's the story, the goose who laid the golden eggs. I was a farmer, poor and old, until my goose laid eggs of gold. Every day I lay just one, an egg as golden as the sun. A golden egg? An egg for me? I'm now as happy as can be. My master takes my eggs away and sells them all on market day. I wish my goose laid three or four instead of one. I want some more. I lay as many as I can. He has become a greedy man. I'll cut her open and behold the secret place she hides her gold. Oh, master, put away your knife. It will not help to take my life. My goose is dead and I despair. I found no treasure anywhere. There's nothing there to make the gold. And once again, I'm poor and old. The moral of the story is this. Be happy with your current store. And don't go grasping after more. For if you're greedy, foolish friend, you will have nothing in the end. The farmer was not content with one golden egg each day. He wanted more. So he cut his goose open and he found nothing. He was left with nothing. No more golden eggs. This story reminded me of the words found in Philippians chapter 4 and the Apostle Paul as he found himself in difficult circumstances. However, he found the answer to where do we go to find strength and comfort. These are the words found in Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 through 13. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In every and any circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And the him who strengthens me there is Jesus Christ. Paul understood that Jesus Christ will give him the strength to get through each and every circumstance that he found himself in. Today, as we are in the midst of this coronavirus epidemic, we want to be reminded that we can find strength and comfort in the one, Jesus Christ. I want to end our time here today answering our second question. Where do we go to be safe and secure? Hear this prayer based on Psalm chapter 46. The only safe and secure place to be is in the presence of God. God is with us and protects us. Take a break and look at God. God is in control, even though it seems as if the world is in ruins. Look to God, who is above the earth, 
above sickness, above politics, above strifes, and be still, and know that God is God. Lord, have mercy, for you are with us. Amen.